Chesterfield Borough Council's leader has withdrawn the Council's application to become a full member of the Sheffield City Region devolution deal to avoid wasting thousands of pounds of taxpayers' money on an unnecessary public referendum called by the leader of Derbyshire County Council. Well, the referendum plans that Councillor Barry Lewis intends to put in place are completely unjustified. They will involve spending tens of thousands of public money. I cannot allow that to happen in these times of austerity. The County Council admits that it still has an £80 million gap in its budgets. Therefore, I've written to Councillor Lewis asking him to stop the referendum and avoid this totally and utterly unjustified waste of public money. The County Council announced its intention to hold a postal referendum of all Chesterfield residents aged 18 and over after its Cabinet meeting on Friday. Sheffield City Regions also required to hold a public consultation into the plans. This would have meant public money being spent twice to ask the same question in a matter of weeks. Sheffield City Region are required to do a consultation into the devolution proposals. The postal ballot that the County Council announced last week will ask the same questions to the same people over the short space of a few weeks. That is clearly duplication. Furthermore, the public of Chesterfield have had local elections and then general elections. I don't feel they have any appetite for a further poll. Also, the recent general election has produced a government that is in total disarray. And actually, from what I am hearing today, they have, have, they have little appetite for devolution proposals, as they, they are being put under pressure by their MPs to deliver on Brexit and to get parliamentary business through. Councillor Gilby will now be approaching Councillor Lewis to discuss alternative funding for projects in the borough. Since the 4th of May, I've been in touch with Councillor Lewis on several occasions to invite him to meet with me to talk about the devolution deal, but also about collaboration on other projects. It was clearly stated in his manifesto that he wanted to improve partnership working between the County Council and other Derbyshire authorities. Unfortunately, he hasn't got back to me. Instead, he's preferred to send out so messages by social media, video feed and, and by letter. Actually, talking face to face is so much better. So I have been in touch with him again and asked for another meeting because there are two questions that I want to put to him. Now that we will not be going into the Sheffield City Region deal, we will be losing £35 million in the next five years. What proposals does he have to replace that funding for Chesterfield? Similarly, the money that he will be saving by not running the referendum, is he willing to spend it on vulnerable people in Chesterfield?